Hi, my name is Avalu Mukherjee, and today I talk about uh, should you enroll uh, in the online courses provided by the Indian universities and the universities abroad. So, first of all, the online courses are completely regular, and they are not distance courses, right? So, you have to give your exams on time. You have to attend the classes. It is not that you have not to attend the classes. You need to just go and sit for the exams. It's not. Now, first of all, what is the problem? And what are the problem areas so far? There are universities which are not recognized. There are universities which are complete scam, which are providing courses for money. And it's true. There are so many institutions, so many universities which actually do not really exist. But they are claiming to provide different courses for money. Now, what are the things you need to check when you are enrolling for online courses? First of all, you need to check the ranking of the university the approvals of the university, the reputation of the university, the accreditations of the university. For example, in India, you need to check if the university is UGC approved or not. How to check that? You need to go to the website of UGC. You need to check the university approval. The second thing is, uh, what is the rank of university? What is the NAC accreditation? What is the other accredited uh, affiliated bodies? What is the recognition of the university outside India? and in India. For example, there are central universities like Aligarh Muslim University, like Mijara University, big private universities uh, like Amrita Vishwavidyalaya, like uh, Chandigarh University. There are state universities uh, like Mysore University. These universities are providing online courses, degree courses, which are completely fine for enrolling. You can enroll in any of their courses. They are very good. The quality is very good. They have world-class faculties. They have online LMS system. They will take exams regularly and everything is fine for them. So you can, without having any kind of doubt, can enroll in any of these universities. And on my channel, I generally give you the updates regarding which courses you can enroll for your masters and your PhDs. Uh, for now, you cannot do your PhDs online in India. It is not recognized by EGC. You have to do your PhD regular or from distance or part-time that is also approved by EGC but I would suggest always a full-time PhD. Uh, for the master's courses you can do two masters at the same time one online one regular oh, sorry one online one in uh, campus or two online so you can do two courses simultaneously now UGC has approved that. Now the biggest fear is that uh, there are courses which are provided by the companies like uh, Brad and uh, Coursera ADX. Now, uh, UGC says that uh, if you are obtaining any regular degree without uh, visiting any foreign land for studying, uh, these degrees are not valid. This is a new update from UGC. So if you are uh, thinking about working in India, then you need to uh, abide by the rules of UGC. You cannot uh, do anything, right? So uh, you can do your courses from ADX Coursera, but the fees are very high and they generally provide the courses from the very high reputed universities abroad and all these courses are recognized. There is nothing like that. They are not recognized. But uh, again, you need to see the UGC updates about these courses and you can do that. But uh, the general courses, of course, uh, master's course fees are almost minimum 10 lakhs rupees on Coursera and ADX when in India, since the central universities are giving the master's courses for only 20, uh, 22,000 rupees only. So there is a high difference between the courses provided by ADX Coursera and the courses provided by the Indian universities. So um, these things uh, actually need to um, uh, think about these things uh, should be considered. And you can do online courses without any fear. These courses are equivalent to the uh, regular on-campus courses and uh, there is no difference you can pursue your PhD you can pursue your research afterwards and anything your corporate jobs your teaching jobs any kind of career opportunity you can have after your online degree courses there is no difference and there is no discrimination also it is that what you have learned it is always what skills that you have created in yourself and how you are presenting yourself nothing more than that degrees are only for skill and knowledge development right and uh, we are very happy that uh, the Indian universities are coming forward with their LMS, with their um, digitalization of education. 
and we hope for the best in the next few years we think that most of the big universities they would launch their own online courses thank you so much my name is Avila Mukherjee thank you for watching this video subscribe to the channel Avila Mukherjee English uh, and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn Facebook Instagram everywhere I am active everywhere meet you in the next video bye bye